I mean, one thing that's just been on my mind for a minute, I saw a video about it, is just get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of what you're doing, whether it's in the, the mean, in the mean rooms out here on the field, like, mediocrity th thrives in comfort. Oh. So, like, you know what I mean? Oh. Come out here, like, just keep striving to keep straining, like, whatever you're doing, man. So, just get comfortable being uncomfortable in those uncomfortable situations, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? That's when we're going to thrive during the season. What winning means to me is everything. It's what you play for, it's what you do it for. Nothing kind of beats that feeling to win. Winning that life, winning that in general. I feel like winning is just the ultimate feeling of success. My decision to return, I just felt like coming back and getting that master's degree, getting another Big Ten championship, going for another national championship, there wasn't really a con of coming back. My mom, she's always been my biggest cheerleader. She tests me, she says, game day. You let them know you're on the field. You know I'm always watching your biggest cheerleader. She always tests me that every game day, let me know. My family always kind of rode deep to my game. They're always there, always supporting. They always have my back. I have three sisters. Um, I'm the youngest, so they're, they're like, love to take care of little bro all the time. I always feel like they have to protect me. They've always been there to support, always loving, always there. They're, they're my best friends. They're always kind of keeping me motivated, always in the back of my mind. My family, my loved ones, they're kind of who I do it for. Bro, get your dog, bro. <laughs> I have two dogs, uh, Louie and Lambo. Lambo! I kind of always had love for dogs. Uh, I grew up with dogs, love like animals in general. It's literally about 10 guys in the locker room that kind of have dogs. It's like having kids and you know, you want to compete like, oh yeah, now my son's better than yours and things like that. Uh, that's pretty much how it is. We get drunk. <laughs> We're always just kind of cracking jokes about it. Lambo built like you, Louis built like there. <laughs> All of the guys, we kind of will go to the parks. Come on. I know the dogs love it. Come on. The guys, I feel like we have more fun than the dogs out there, honestly. It's always a good time. Me and Junior, you know, we always compete with each other. That's kind of like my little bro, for real. He kind of told me like, you know, let's come back, let's run it back and be the top linebackers in the country next year. Everyone who I talked to who kind of left early, they kind of told me like, well, if they could come back and do it again, they would take it for sure. I took that into perspective, you know, so everything kind of led back to coming back. When I hear those who stay will be champions, I just think of all of the, the alumni who came before me and came through and won all those championships. And I feel like, you know, now with me, like just kind of staying the course and just everything I've been through, just kind of throughout the adversity I faced, staying the course, just grinding, head down, and just finishing out being a champion.